Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I have a project pan and I'm really excited about this because I want to finish these products off by the end of the year. So um, this is probably going to be like a four to five month project pan. Um, but yeah, I just want to finish these products off and move them out of my collection or stash because I don't know, I want to work on other products and um, this will help me get through these products faster, I think. So the first product I want to finish is my Rimmel Scandalize uh, Eyeliner in Nude. This is all I have left, which doesn't look like a lot, but this takes forever to use just because I do typically just use this on my bottom uh, waterline, and I've had this forever. So if I don't finish this by the end of the year, I am going to toss it because it is up there in age. Um, but yeah, that's the first product I would like to finish. This next product, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see because I don't even really know how much is left. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the travel size one. There's really going to be no way to mark this um, product. But um, I just want to use this up because I do have a full size one that I would like to get through. But I do like this and I do use this for baking um, and setting underneath my eyes as well. So uh, there's that. Speaking of powders, I do have the Benefit Hello Flawless powder here, and I've already hit major pan on this, so I do want to go ahead and finish this off. So I think I might crush this up and use it as like a loose setting powder once the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is gone, but uh, yeah, this is where I'm at with that. I do have a face primer here. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Under Makeup Primer. And it's just a sample size or deluxe size, but there is quite a bit of product in here. So when I bend uh, this, like, plastic over or whatever, that's about where I'm at. Um, and I think I should definitely have this done by the end of the year, but a little does go a long way. And I do enjoy this so far, so um, I'll be excited to move this out, though, just because it is quite small. Lip balm here. I just opened this. This is, this is by The Body Shop. This is the Cocoa Butter Lip uh, balm and this is what it looks like like I said this is new to me so I will go ahead and roll this all the way up so so that's how much is in here um and I think I should be able to get through this by the end of the year I typically only wear lip balm at night before I'm going to bed so uh We'll see. Hopefully I'll be able to get through this though, but um, I did just finish the Nivea Kiss of Olive Oil and Lemon Lip Balm, so I'm hoping I can get through this one by the end of the year. A couple of lip products here. The first one is from Buxom. This is the Buxom Full On Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn. I did, I did just go ahead and mention this in my July favorites, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link that down below. But this is what the shade looks like. It's really, really pretty. And I absolutely love this color, so that's what it looks like. It's one of my favorite um, lipsticks, and I just want to get through it because it is quite small, and I figure I might as well use it up and get through it. And then I do have the Buxom Full-On Lip Cream here in the shade French Martini, and this was part of their Jewel Toned uh, like Limited Edition collection, so I just figured I might as well use this up because I have already used about half of it. So I'm about down to here, which is about halfway, so I have about half of it left, and this is one of my favorite lip glosses. I love it just to wear on its own, and I do like to apply it over top of other lipsticks, so... I will go ahead and swatch this for you. So on camera it just kind of comes up clear basically. It does have just a sheer wash of color but that's what it looks like. Um, and I really do enjoy this formula as well as this shade. And then one more makeup product here. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. My goal is just to hit pan on this. So um, this is about what I have used so far. As you can see, I've mainly focused my brush in this area. So I'm hoping I'll hit pan by the end of the year. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer. I feel like it just is such a nice bronzer without being like too muddy or orange on my skin and it does smell like coconuts as well but the packaging kind of sucks because mine broke so um uh there's that though um I love the overall product though 
And then the last two products are kind of skincare and a perfume. So this might seem like a gimme product, but I honestly forget to use this all the time. And this is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, and this is a exfoliator. So this is just a like sample size, and I've had this for a while, but I honestly forget to use it. But um, I'm like down to here, and I don't use it all the time just because my skin is so sensitive. But uh, yeah, I just want to move this out of my stash because it's taking up space, and honestly, I don't think I like need it. Finally, I have a perfume. This is my Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb perfume. And I love the scent, especially for the fall and winter, mainly any time of the year, but especially in the fall and winter. But um, yeah, this is just my rollerball of it, and uh, I am down to here, so uh, I don't wear this all the time, but I just feel like it is kind of getting up there in age, and I should probably use it up while I, you know, while it's still good. So I'm going to put some on right now. Uh, such a nice scent, and... I love it. So, yeah, we will see if I finish this by the end of the year. But, yeah, those are the products that I would like to finish by the end of the year. I will probably do, like, monthly updates um, or if you guys want to see, you know, every couple months uh, my progress on these products, let me know what you would prefer every month or every couple months or you know every three months whatever um let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i would really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching talk to you later bye